is uh, not what you want to see. And now this is maybe where the comeback builds for EG. You have one round of the board. There's a mistake that comes in for me, United, and suddenly some life in the EG side. And just a few mistakes, but Clays are able to find one, but Silly's there for a quick trade. And while this is happening, Bomb is being planted at the B site. Arsity is another clutch opportunity. This time, at least, he has an STG to work with. He has a stun as well. I think he should go for a swim. Yeah. Just gets off the map. Nowhere near it. <laughs> no. Saw Clayster pick up one, but here's Silly then with the trade. Yeah, no, just, just a couple of rounds, a, a few mistakes for you. And that just gets a little scary, right? If Pristini gets through, maybe he finds a couple of kills on both of those rounds, and this could very easily have been a 6-0. But instead, EG, they win a couple of rounds. They start to get their confidence back up a little bit. We'll see what they can do on defense. Round by round, bringing it back, and look at Silly. Building towards these streaks, he gets vision on two. Can't finish either, both so weak. Will that nade connect with anything? It does get a kill, but Arsene is able to trade that out with a nade of his own. So 3v3 early in this, no streaks for Silly. EG, though, still trailing in this one. Bomb has now gotten in to the A site, but you can see Pristini not exactly by himself, but a little separation between him and the players set up a back truck and also inside a fire. And as you pointed out, Silly was working on streaks, so that was Barrel, a big so. kill. That was a big trade. He was getting up to 650. Pristini might catch Aix. Aix is going to peek this corner. They're going to see each other. Pristini nice wins win. it, though. Nice swim. Clayster finds another opening. He's just been, United has just been widening the opening of the map with middle. And they spot that last guy, Apathy, in a world of trouble in a 1v3. Where do you go? Where do you go? Takes the first gunfight, doesn't take a whole lot of damage, just snaps out of the second! Apathy gets both. There's one more, doesn't know where the damage is going to be coming from. And as he's weak, he will be taken out mid-street. And that's a big round for E-United, who let two slip away. Slow the bleeding a little bit. And this is just an easy kill. One bullet for Arsides. And you're just kind of, it's a wild moment for Apathy. You're just kind of guessing, right? Yeah, definitely so. He thinks yeah. the trade might be coming in from inside of Docs. He's not really sure. Especially maybe they recognize Arsides has been the bomb planner, right? So maybe they, he thinks he's on bomb, putting it down. But as you said, a big round for United as EG was starting to fight back. EG have to stay alive in this offense. Stun able to connect with the mountain player that I believe was Pristini was trying to hit through mid-map, so he'll be slowed down for at least a moment. Arsides, the one in the best position to shut down this push from EG. And but look at mid-map, man. It's uh -huh. all E United. Yeah, EG just giving up so much map control on offense and defense. And E United just taking advantage of it. Nice nade, gonna back down Arsides. But EG's not gonna get much from it. Apathy does push up, but he's basically stuck, and Silly only has a PPSH to help him out. And they need aches. You got mid-map, and you got that three stack at the back of the side. This looks impossible for EG. Kill from Silly, though. Evens the odds. Christine, though, just tucked away on the bomb here. If they try to push in, he's likely going to at least be able to get one kill before he gets traded out. Can it be multiple? He peeks up and doesn't connect, and Silly's able to get the kill! He doesn't get one! Oh my god, what looked like an unwinnable situation falls apart as Silly's able to get the opening two kills. And Pristini, he does some damage but doesn't finish either of them. Yeah, he was just trying to hit both targets. Sometimes as a, as a pro player, you know how many bullets it takes, right? Maybe it one went through the surface, tried to s snap onto that second target before he finished the first one. You should have won the game there if you're United. Yeah, I, I, I don't know who got picked by Ace in the window, but if Pristini's in that, in that position, just peek for information. And then as soon as that happens, allow Pristini to peek up from the bomb. That's when you start those trades. He weakened two players, but it was a 2v3. Clayster gets the better of Ace again, but Silly there with the trade. Silly 10-4, and four, dropping du double digits against the former squad and on a three streak. A lot of pressure to assault here. <laughs> nice shots as he tags him, trying to peek out of lights. Silly. Be the man to help. Oh my god, Assault has gotten so close to multiple kills. He's got to reload though. He gets away. He's getting pressed from both sides. They're finally able to pick it up, and Apathy finds a kill at the same time. 2v2. Silly and Apathy very far apart right now. Must win round for EG. They've got to take this 2v2 if they're going to extend this game too. Yeah, Silly. He's going to go all the way around, but as you said. What do you think of this? 
I mean, they're just trying to find information. Maybe he can go in A or, A, A or B, right? So Silly's going to be in a good spot if they plant for that B bomb, but Apathy isn't. There we go. There's the information, but Pristini checked it. But there's a trade. So now 1v1 for Apathy. Can Apathy win it? Apathy spotted him. There it is. Apathy gets the kill, and EG still alive as they clutch up in the 2v2. Silly with the first. Apathy with the final kill, and it doesn't get much easier than that. No, it definitely doesn't. He just peeks that corner, sees him on the bomb. One thing I will say that I have noticed with this United roster just already is their decision making. They're very cohesive. They just ran up that main street as a, as a unit to, to find Assault. Yes, Assault did find the help, but I feel like old E United would have been very split up in that decision, or some of the guys just might not have been on that pace. So good to see. Do we go to around 11? Or does E United take it here? Apathy just playing for any kind of information. Get Aix with a big first blood. That battle between him and Clayster has been huge throughout the course of this game. It seems they've gone back and forth round by round. Where was that even at? Oh God, Pristini, depending on the timing he gets. Well, Assault's looking at it though. He's been spotted. Good luck with that. <laughs> See the tip of his helmet. Yeah, yeah, good luck. He got a little bit more information if he spotted Apathy in the back, so he's got to know that obviously the action's going towards B. And look, he's got the reinforcements there. They've got one mid-cut. A lot of information for E United, but so they are down a man. EG's played very slow, so the rotation is in now for E United. This is still winnable. They're in great position. Look where Arsity is. is. As you said, look where Pristini is. 30 seconds. EG has to commit sooner or later. Can Pristini find the timing? Well, Arsity, there it is, but that's a nice trade from Assault. This is all on Pristini. Pristini's got to get the timing, like you said. Pristini's hitting the back. Can he win the one-on-one? -on -one? He's able to tag him up. He's going to re-challenge. Apathy drops, though, and he's able to win it. And round by round, EG have stayed alive. And now the all-important round 11 as Silly once again able to find the kill Dude, to close out the round. What a win from Apathy, though. You know, he goes down in that fight. A couple of bullets pre-fires the corner. Pristini re-challenges and just gets... I mean, that was all on Pristini Destroyed. throughout the course. Yeah. Wait, you were waiting for that gunfight to develop. Ever since he got back down by Assault, you knew eventually he had to hit it, obviously. Once he did, yeah, I mean, it's probably one he should have won, but it works out. Definitely so. Okay, here we go. Round 11. Game two of our winner's bracket final. Again, winner here. Guaranteed a spot in our grand final. What do you think about the offense from United right now, Joe? Yeah, very aggressive. Once again, they're just committing to this. Now yeah. one nade is in, but there's no follow-up. Yes, there it is. But still a 3v4. United's going to back down up. There's nobody on the flank. They're going to be in some great positions. How will EG try to retake this? Do they have any smokes? Do they have any tacticals to play with? Nothing out yet. Silly got into position. I on think he just heard it. I think he just heard that smoke pop. That's a big play right there. To hold on to that for Assault. Clayster has to repeat it. Now it's a 4v2. Clay fi finds one, but they have to peek this. Arcee's now. There we go. He gets cleaned up. And EG down 5-3. You see the chokes are out. And it takes letting them know. Somebody please give them a fist bump. Assault finally going to get it on the end. But that is a brutal loss for E United. An absolutely brutal loss. Yeah, I mean, silly. 13-5, and five, he finishes that one. Aix right behind him at 10-7. and seven. Feels pretty good if you're silly against the former roster, dropping a bomb like that. Ugh. That again, once again, just because Assault hangs onto the smoke, it's that one play. If he doesn't have that, I mean, forces United out of position. EG in control of this best of five. Can Clayster in the four? Still a three flag lead with 30 seconds left. There it goes through. How do you even pull this off, Joe? I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a, does a team kill help? 15 seconds now. Apathy's going to... You can hear Pat yelling. Pat is getting fired up on the main stage. Silly. He's got to feel so good. Look at the smile on his face. The 3-0 in the air. Evil geniuses are in a grand final in a very, very convincing fashion. Wow. Joe, what's the limit of this team? Now, I, I know we've talked about this weekend and uh, you know, the fact that, all right, do we think that 
these results or maybe they carry on through the rest of the year. We don't know. But the way they've been winning it, how convincing it's been, the fact that you get the 3-0 over the team in the United that's been looking very solid in the winner's bracket as well. I mean, it's got to be... It's got to look very good for EG. No, it definitely does. I think you see the potential, right? And we always talked about how comfortable these guys are in their roles. You can see it. Like, Silly and Apathy seem great. Assault has been playing so well in respawns. Then you just have Apes, right? He's that clutch factor. He dropped double digits in Search and Destroy. They're able to make that comeback. But in United, you definitely think maps one and two, a couple of things could go their way, and this could de definitely be a five-game series. Well, there's somebody I really want to hear from. It's the former E United player in Silly. We've got him on stage with Jess with the PlayStation Instant Reaction. Thanks, the Maven. Now, first off, taking a look at that SD, started off with E United up five. You guys had, I think, three rounds, and then you just boom, 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 boom. How did you make that comeback? Um, honestly, my teammates make it really easy for me to play confident s and and it really uh, attributed to my 13 kills, and we just uh, kept composed and brought it back. All right. And then during the next game, uh, we did do the Astro Gaming listen-in, and you guys just made the CTF look so easy. Can you describe what the mood and the energy of the team was like during that game? I mean, as a team right now, our mood and energy is just fantastic. We all understand each other. We know where each other are going to be, and our, uh, we mesh really well together. All right, and then finally, I know I've chatted with you and I've chatted with Clayster, and you know, everything is great. It was a very amicable split up, but still, how does it feel to beat your former team and head to the grand finals? Um, on, it feels amazing. Um, anybody who gets dropped obviously wants some kind of vengeance against like their old team, so it feels great. Um, but I do expect them uh, to see them in the grand final. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for the interview. This has been your PlayStation Instant Reaction. Back over to Rich at the desk. He got thank his vengeance you. indeed. That is a man up on the main stage that has really been able to thrive with his new team. And I got to say it right now, EG has made probably the best roster changes that we've seen in this entire tournament. Out of all the teams that made roster changes, this one is just absolutely perfect. Do we have any disagreements on the desk? I mean, that enable guy, I don't know. <laughs> he I was don't causing know. problems.